Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Sunshine Haze. I'm Aja A. As you guys see, cards on my screen, you know it is time for a new moon tarot reading. This time around, we are doing the new moon in Leo. I know we we're out of cancer lunar season. I'm so sad. But, <laughs> excuse me, new moon in Leo. Um, if you want some insight or want some more information on what that actually means as far as the energy goes and what we'll be dealing with during, you know, the next month, mid-August to mid-September, so doesn't that sound crazy? Summer is actually almost already over. But um, if you want some more insight or some more information on what that means, go ahead and check out my video on the new moon in Leo and partial solar eclipse. We are having a solar eclipse that day as well. Um, speaking of eclipses, I've got an eclipse series. You guys can go on and check out that uh, eclipse series as well. And then we've got hella retrogrades going. Oops, got hella retrogrades going on. I haven't even started shuffling. The Eight of Fire. This is all about... Um, this is a, a positive energy card. This is a card of having drive. It's also a card of uh, healing and transmuting negative or dense energy. So, okay, Cancer, what's popping? What's going to be going down? Um, what was I saying? Check out the retrograde readings. Not the retrograde readings, I'm sorry. The retrograde sale. I'm sorry, not the retrograde sale, which I do have all of that. <laughs> but check out the retrograde videos. Um, and all of the videos that I just plugged, I've got links to down in the description box. And let's just go on and get this shit started. This video is from my cancer babies, like myself, cancer sun, cancer moon, like myself, <laughs> or cancer rising, the only cancer, like, that's literally cancer sun, cancer moon. Um, if you feel like what I'm saying in this video is not resonating with you, it means it's probably not for you. Your moon or rising sign video might have the message that you need this time around. Um, like I said, that playlist is down in the description box. The link to that playlist is down in the description box, okay? Um, yeah, y'all, so... As always, it's going to be our typical five-card new moon spread. Um, it's going to be looking at the energies that are going to be coming in for us, Cancer. Uh, any crossing energies, as always. Um, and because we're dealing with Leo this time around, going to be looking at some cards that tell us, you know, where is our style being cramped? Um, and where do we need to show off? What do we need to showcase? And then, as always, we are going to get a little soul message card. Ooh, hell yeah, I'm with that shit. Got the knowledge card coming out. Three fire. Ooh, 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 cancer, what's good? What's this about? What is this? What is this lunar, Leo, lunar season about? Oh my gosh, we got some cool cards. Um, all right, it's been a shuffling for us. What's popping for cancer? Cancer sun, cancer moon, and cancer rising. I think one more. But the way I shuffled before I said one more, I want y'all to know it was immaculate. Like, that was probably the bomb of shuffling that I've ever done in my life. <laughs> and cut the deck and let's cut that bad boy again all right a little cancerian friend what's popping hmm. hmm okay all right I'm with that I guess I'm with that <laughs> I guess I'm with that. Um, okay, Cancer. What do we got? What do we got going on for us this time around in a uh, lunar Leo season? Leo lunar season. That's a that's a mouthful, yo. Like for real, for real. We've got the knowledge card popping up for us at the heart of our reading. That's in the center. That is the energy that's going to be coming in for us during this lunar cycle. Um, and the knowledge card is all about you know pretty much what it says it's about. It's about knowledge. It's about learning it's about our skills and understanding and and our experience as well <clears throat> excuse me sorry this card coming up cancer is telling me that this well at first i was going to say this lunar leo cycle may not have a lot of, of movement to it actually it looks like it may not have too much movement to it or it may it's going to be one way or the other for for you cancers out there um but this lunar cycle for us, Cancer, is going to be a time of growing, a time of learning, a time of 
you know, researching, seeking new things out. Um, the knowledge card popping up, Cancer, is telling me that uh, most of us are in, are currently in a position to where, you know, we're trying to change our lives. We're trying to shift things. We just came into our new year. Um, and with the last couple of readings that I did, I, I did readings where I said things are changing for us. You know, things are starting to, we're coming into these new cycles, right? The knowledge card popping up in the middle of our reading is saying, okay, yeah, we're coming into new cycles. And with all of this new shit happening for us, we've got to better equip ourselves ourselves to to deal with these new situations, to to be able to move through these new situations in a positive and a, and a successful way. Um, so for, because we're cancers, you guys are water, we're water, um, we resonate with a lot of creative energy, we resonate with a lot of very spiritual energy, um, and we also resonate with a lot of emotional energy. Um, the knowledge card, what I'm getting for that is cancer, there's either a project that you're trying to work on or a spiritual based practice, what I pick up, that you guys are starting to get into or you're getting a little bit more into your own faith or whatever or your own um, your own beliefs or just learning a lot more about yourselves during this time with all of that stuff coming up there's going to be a lot of new things that you're going to need to learn a lot of new things that you're going to pick up especially if we're talking about the arts or we're talking about you know spirituality there's always something to learn there's always ways to improve the knowledge card is saying during this next month cancer that's what we're going to be focusing our energy on so maybe not a lot of movement but there's going to be a lot of movement underneath the surface for us there's going to be a lot of you know all right this is what i want to do so this is what i'm about to i'm about to crack open a book i'm about to hop on google i'm about to start asking questions because i know i cannot be successful in whatever this is that i'm trying to you know do with my life if I don't have the knowledge behind it, if I don't have the wisdom behind the things that I need to know about so that I can be the person that I want to be, so that I can do the things that I want to do, so that I can create the shit that I want to create. The knowledge card is a very good energy to have coming up in the middle of the spread because it's not its not a negative energy. It's not necessarily a positive energy. It is literally an energy of growth. It's an energy of building. It's an energy of it's, it's actually an abundant card. When, you, when you're talking about the knowledge card, you're gaining more gaining more knowledge you're, you're learning new things so you in, in learning new things and expanding your horizons you're you're creating the opportunities for more abundance for you so cancer whatever is going on during this month as far as whatever you're researching whatever you're seeking out whatever you're trying to learn you are on the right path because everything that you're tapping into are, are tools and knowledge that you're and things that you're going to need to know for whatever it is that you're trying to do and when it comes to the point of actually dealing with that stuff in the physical all of the shit that you learn this month or all the things that you, you, you become involved with this month are really going to help you out down the line, okay? Yes, we got the knowledge card. Like, that also, um, I just also pick up very strong, like, you know, we're out of our lunar season, but I feel like a lot of us are still trying to do our healing. We're still trying to, you know, heal our emotional traumas, heal our childhood traumas or whatever you've got going on that you need to, to do away with or whatever you've got going on that you need to release. So I also think that during this time, in addition to gaining the knowledge for whatever it is that we're trying to do, I think we're also going to be coming to a point to where we're gaining the knowledge of what needs to be healed and actually truly how to heal it and what to do in order to make that successful for us, okay? The next card that we've got coming up in uh, this spread is the Three of Fire. Hot Fire. Got the Three of Fire coming up. Um, in the position of the crossing energy what could be what could be posing some problems for us during this time what could be kind of stopping us from being able to tap into that knowledge and right off bat we got a fire card so i know automatically that has to do with our action with our drive with our willpower um this card is is a card of like experimentation it's a card of just kind of <sighs> letting yourself go for allowing the world to teach you allowing you know spirit to guide you not necessarily having a plan um letting go of the reins a little bit and this is also a card of hard work and due diligence right so this coming up in the position of what is crossing us cancer i get a few messages for this during this time <laughs> cancer during this time we may be in one of our little introvert cancer modes so we may very much actually not even be having problems with tapping into this knowledge the problem may actually be with doing something with it 
So you may be getting to this knowledge, but they, like it, it's cool to have wisdom, but what it, it's okay if you're not sharing it with other people or applying it to your life. You know what I mean? So the three of fire crossing the knowledge card cancer is telling me that we may be being a little lethargic. We may be in that little cancer introvert. I don't really want to be fucking bothered and I'm going to stay in my shell in my house and I'll do the research here and that's as far as it's going to go. Three of fire crossing you was saying actually cancer the stuff that you're learning this month the things that you're figuring out this month you actually do need to apply them to your life and figure out where you can fit that knowledge in so that you can make the moves that you've been trying to make that you're not currently making um lethargy uh, is, is big coming up for that card for the for the spread um this is also like i said this is also a card of like just is being free uh, cancer we are homebodies we although we are water signs we enjoy structure we we are creatures of habit we like to know what's going on this card is telling me that i know for a lot of us the way that life has been set up is it's been kind of topsy-turvy like upside down like we don't know what's going on and the cancer in us is like okay no i need structure <laughs> i need i need this to i need to know what's happening here I need to know what's happening here. And what I want to say about that message is you're seeking out the wrong knowledge. You don't know, you don't need to know what's going to happen. But what you do need to know is what you're about to. You do need to know what you're about to do and how you're going to make shit happen. But you don't need to know necessarily what's coming up next. You know what I'm saying? Um, the three of the three of fire is telling me cancer. You're you're going to be having. We're going to be having a little bit of a hard time like letting go or being open to like different perspectives which is very interesting because I'm somebody that like takes pride in being able to see the world from different perspectives but I may be having a little bit of trouble with that during this time this card coming up is saying can't see it almost what it's looking like is that the only issue that we're going to be having here is being a creature of habit and being in our shells and this is not the time to do that we're under a fire moon right now this is this is not the time to be chilling to be completely honest we're under a fire moon it's a leo moon which has everything to do with you know shifting things in our lives so that we're doing the things that are serving us and our highest good um and this is also a, a solar eclipse so it's, we need to be doing the things that we need to be phasing in for us anyway so cancer come out your shell live your life you know um, with this knowledge card, actually, there may be there may just be people that you need to pick up knowledge from, and you can't. I mean, you could from inside your crib, but I, I know me, and I know, and I, me inside the house means don't call me, don't text me, don't. I don't want nothing to do with y'all. So, cancer, you got to come out the house. You got to come out the shell. You got to actually make moves. You want to be in this three of fire in an upright position. You don't want it to be a crossing energy for you, okay? Because there's shit that you need to learn. There's things that you need to pick up on that can contribute to whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like I said, that creativity, that spiritual spiritual healing or spiritual business, whatever it is that you have going on, Cancer. The three of fire is crossing you when it should be right next to the knowledge card, okay? The next card that you have coming up in your position is the Son of Wands, and that's that is the Knight of Wands, and that's in the position of where is your style being cramped? Cancer. The Knight cards are cards that come in with opportunities, that come in with, you know, messages, or just come in with somebody that carries that energy. I don't think that we're talking about a person, although this is a court card. We could be. Um, it could be a person physically kind of cramping your style, kind of blocking you from doing the things that you need to do. And if, if what I've been talking about resonates with you and then the, this being a person does, that would be a male. Not It doesn't have to be a male, but most likely a male. Younger or, or you know, more more lively. Uh, fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. Um, or somebody with a lot of fire placements in their chart or somebody that just, you know, exudes fire energy. However, I don't really pick up on person vibes <laughs> from this card. Um, this is the Knight of Wands, the Son of Wands. So that is the, the card coming in with the energy or coming in with an opportunity or coming in with a message. So this coming up in the position of where, uh, what's your style being cramped, Cancer, is one, being fucking lazy. You're not wanting to get out the house, not wanting to do anything. And that's that actually, let me not say being lazy because when we go into our shells, it's, it's not being lazy. It's taking the time to regroup. We operate out of our heart chakras. So that's a heavy intense chakra so we are empaths and and sometimes that not sometimes 
literally like clockwork for me i it's like almost every other week that i do this for a few days where i'm just like don't call I like i don't respond to my text messages i don't be answering my phone i'd be mad irritated when people be trying to reach me and it's not because i'm lazy and i don't want to come out the house or i don't want to do anything it's because i need to be within myself so that i can heal and rejuvenate myself and regroup so that i can go out and do this shit all over again the son of wands coming up in the position of you know what's cramping his style is cancer that living in the shell aspect of, of our sign, that type of energy for our sign may actually be holding us back right now. There are things that we need to go out here and learn. Um, and these cards coming up is telling me that the learning that we're gonna be doing is going to actually be through experience. I don't think it's gonna be like a Google or like opening a book type of thing. I think this is, there's shit that's gonna be going down either creatively or either spiritually for you, enlightening, you know, awakenings and shit that you're going to have to physically be a part of to pick up on the messages and to pick up on the knowledge that you're supposed to, to gain from it. Um, and the Son of Wands, this movement, this action, this drive, this this desire to actually go out and do things, being in the position of what's cramping your style is telling me, Cancer, you're just in a mood to where you're not, you just don't want to do that right now. <laughs> it's not that you don't want the knowledge, that you don't want to learn from people. It's just like, I, that's not what I'm feeling right now. And... I'm a cancer to my core and I understand when people be telling us like you need to get out, you need to do this and you're just like no you don't understand like no I need to be by myself this is actually a time cancer where if people are telling you you need to get out you need to mix and mingle you need to do this and you need to do that they actually are telling you the truth this time around um we can kick it in Virgo lunar season I feel like I feel like we can take a little baby break probably not but I feel like right now is about the action and we are being blocked by the fact that we're not taking any the act not not taking any action but we're being blocked by the fact that we're not taking the actions or making the moves that we need to be making that we need to be making notice i said need and not want um that's what's crossing is cancer and there's 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 so much there for us to learn so much there for us to do with the things that we learn but we're not going to be able to do that if we don't go out and seek the knowledge ourselves okay google can't tell you everything tell you a lot but it can't give you everything it cannot give you experience um okay the next card that we have coming up in the spread is in the position of um what do we need to showcase where do we need to show up where do we need to show out we've got the temperance card so <laughs> i like this because i was talking about earlier cancer how a lot of us have been dealing with just like life has been wild and i tell y'all I used to be making fun of people talking about quarter life crisis, crises, crisis, whatever. Um, but let me tell y'all, when I turned 24, like halfway through 24 is when shit turned upside down for me. The whole 25th year of my life was some bullshit. I'm 26 now, I'm only a couple months in, and I, I am feeling Phoenix energy. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Like I'm not completely there yet, but I'm feeling like, okay, shit's changing and I'm coming into a new, the temperance card is telling us, okay, cancer, shit's been rocky. You've been in your shell, one, cause you don't wanna deal with the rocky shit and two, because you're trying to avoid rocky shit and three, because you feel like you took a major L, like I was saying, taking major Ls, feel like you took a major L and you still feel like you're trying to regroup, which is very true. That resonates very heavily with me, but, the temperance card coming up in the position of where do you need to show up and show out and show off is saying cancer listen stop victimizing yourself stop feeling sorry for yourself stop pitying yourself and say okay this shit happened this is what i went through this is what happened to me and this is how it affected me and then stop and say, okay, do I want to live my life resonating with that energy or, or putting out that energy or just that being there? Because you, you receive what you put out. So if that's what you walking around with, trust and believe, you're going to still feel defeated. You're going to still feel suckish and shitty. You know what I'm saying? This temperance card is saying, all right, Cancer, acknowledge all that shit. We understand. We get it. Yes, we know. You, you, you got burned, bitch. We got it. We know. But now it's time to rise from the ashes. Now it is time to tap into some Phoenix energy, to tap into that temperance energy and say, okay, I did go through this shit and it was rough, but I'm coming out on the other side of this a completely different and completely new and a completely rejuvenated person. Um, shit happens, Cancer, and you can either 
let it take you out or you can either let it teach you some things. And the spread is saying, don't let it take us out. Let's just learn from it and let's go out there and learn some more, okay? All right, the last card that we've got coming up in our spread, Cancer, is the Emotion and Intellect card. And this is in the position of our soul message. So I'm actually, that's an interesting one. Um, got the Emotion and Intellect card coming up in the position, <coughs> excuse me, of, um, sorry, in the position of our, um, our soul message. And so this is a card of, another card of balance. And this is a card that has to deal with our emotions and our thoughts, Cancer. A lot of videos, a lot of signs have been getting the same thing where I've been telling them like, okay, listen, I get external influences. Like I just said, I get shit happening, but you certain things only affect you so long as you allow them to. This emotion and intellect card is saying, okay, Cancer, you've got to find the balance between acting and being burdened by your emotions and acting on and being burdened by your thoughts. You've got to find a healthy balance and you've got to find a way to clear out the negative energy that resides within both your emotional life and, and your mental uh, capacity. You know, last last season, last lunar season was cancer. Cancer, like I said, all about emotional healing, all about healing our childhood traumas, all about releasing the things that we need to release. But cancer is not so much about intellectual energy. Cancer is, like I said, all about resonating and, and operating out of that heart chakra. Now we've got this, we need to find the balance. This is saying, okay, cancer, you're allowing your emotions behind whatever the hell happened, whatever fucked your life up, whatever threw you for a loop, to put you into a space to where you're only operating in water energy, to where you're only operating within your feelings, within your emotions, and to where you're not being able to tap into that drive, into that action or active energy of fire that's coming up in this spread, to where, you know, and not being able to tap into that is not allowing you to tap into this knowledge, this knowledge energy. This card also resonates with earth energy for me too. So this is just saying, Cancer, it's time to find some balance. It's time to, to see where, you know, you're victimizing yourself. And understand that some of your emotions, Cancer, come from you telling yourself, like, oh, my gosh, this is so horrible. And now I'm sad. Now I'm depressed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about your mental. It's all about the way that you see things. Our, our thoughts and our words are very powerful. I say, like, speaking things into existence. I have that shit tatted on me. Like, you know, and that's the... That doesn't say speak things into existence, but the meaning behind that tattoo is, you know, we will things and we speak things into existence. We create the experiences that we that we have. We, we create the life that we live. And Cancer, you have the ability to create the life that you want to live, but as of right now, are you or are you giving more energy to the life that you don't want to live? I think that's what that card is coming up and saying. Like, you, you've got to really be mindful of the way that you're thinking. I pulled, um, I did cards for my Mercury retrograde reading, my personal one. And, you know, this lunar cycle falls within the Mercury retrograde. And I got the devil card in one of those positions of the spread. And what I interpreted that for was, okay, Aja, you need to make sure that you're not having negative thoughts. You're not allowing negativity and fear and doubt to cloud anything that you have going on for yourself. So I'm going to give that message to you guys, too. Be just very mindful of your thoughts and your words because that can, in turn, cause even more blockages for us. And that can cause more grief, more strife make us feel like we're at the point before the phoenix rising out of the fire so just be very mindful of the way that you're thinking also understand cancer that you know it's summertime you got, we gotta come out of our shells guys <laughs> you know we gotta yeah, just start a little bit all right all right cancer that was a good one and then you got the seven of pentacles on the bottom of the deck which is telling me like you know Things are not moving as fast as you want them to. You're, you're still feeling kind of like, oh, what's going on with my life? Most of us, some of us, but things are falling into alignment, okay? All right, Cancer. I hope that those cards, that reading, bought you the insight that you needed or that you were seeking when you clicked on this video. If you feel like you need a more personal reading or a more in-depth reading, go on and book one with me through my Etsy shop. Uh, you can also... Contact me through Instant Go, and you can also um, send me an email if you don't see anything on my Etsy store that you feel like serves you. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, go on and drop them down in the uh, in the space below. I'm on my channel literally every single day, so I will respond to you. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up. Wish we hit the thumbs up button for <laughs> yeah, dude. Hit the thumbs up button for me. Um, 
if you know any cancers or you got any cancer friends or you know anybody cross watching for their cancer bays go on and send them this video y'all share my videos all the time and that's actually what helps my channel grow y'all of course are some of my most loyal subscribers because i feel like me having that cancer energy i probably really resonate with y'all um i've noticed that for myself too when i watch different readers and when i get readings and people with similar placements to me tend to resonate with me a little bit more um, what I would like, comment, subscribe. If you are still listening to me talk at 25 minutes in, go on and hit the subscribe button so you can keep up when I put out more videos of me talking and reading your lines, okay? And like, comment, subscribe, share. I think that's it, y'all. Uh, before I go, I do have a couple of sales going on. I've got eclipse sales, eclipse readings, and um, I'm sorry, eclipse readings and Mercury, not Mercury, eclipse readings and retrograde readings in general. You can get a reading for any planet in retrograde currently or you can get an eclipse reading for the leo aquarius axis um the eclipse sale will be ending at the end of august and the retrograde reading is on the retrograde sale is ongoing as long as the planet is in retrograde i mean the only way that you can get those readings for half price that's the sale half price is by booking them through my etsy store okay y'all all right cancer i think that's it for real for real this time thank you thank you thank you Ooh. Eight of Cups upside down. That's the reverse, Cancer. Yay. Whatever work we've been putting in is about to come in for us. So the Eight of Cups reverse is this time to leave. Um, the Eight of Cups right up is this time to leave. The Eight of Cups reverse is like, okay, you really finna be out of whatever it is that's holding you back, Cancer. So hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm with that shit. All right, y'all. I think that is actually it at this point. I'm probably just probably just rambling to y'all now um ooh, very interesting you've got body and mind on the bottom of the deck with the emotion and intellect card so it's all about balance for you cancer and coming into balancing yourself within your elements um yeah ooh, yeah okay yeah i like that all right cancer that's it that's it thank y'all so much for watching i'll see y'all next time